Hey, what's up guys? Today I'm gonna show you how to customize your slingshot using Flex Seal. So stay tuned. guys i hope everybody's doing well out there it's a chilly morning in southern arizona we've had like a mega cold front come through but it's nice i'm digging it nice little break from the heat i love it but uh guys i got sent a little surprise from a good friend the other day i uh, wasn't expecting this uh at all he just sent it to me as a surprise and that is this here we got something from caddyshack inside Let's see what we got. What? Is that not sick or what, guys? I cannot believe he just sent that to me for no reason. Big shout out to Double D's. Double D's Slings on YouTube. Give him a like and a subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you, Double D's. This was an awesome surprise, man, and I'm stoked to have it. So this is a uh, 95 mil wide slingshot, I'm pretty sure. Um, it's got slanted tips there, which I really like. Um, it's made out of steel, and it's got a beautiful anodized finish on this. Um, I'm still surprised Double D sent it to me. Um, but I do want to make some tweaks to it, and I'll explain why. The, the first thing is, it's just a little big for my hand, guys. Just a little bit. So I just want to uh, beef up this swell a little bit, just to choke my hand up to the forks a little better. Um, the other tweak I want to do is, see this grip pattern they got on here? I think that's really cool. I do, I think that grip pattern is really cool. But when I shoot this for a while, it kind of starts to eat my hand up like a cheese grater a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do some customizing here in this section of the handle to try to solve that cheese grater problem. And uh, let me get into how I'm gonna do that. All right guys, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I ripped off a piece of this sandpaper here. I'm just gonna take some of it, kind of rough up the side a little bit. All right, I think that's good. All right, guys, I got some of this uh, just general masking tape here. I'm gonna go ahead and get these forks and the bottom part here taped off. up this uh, cheap little razor blade set from Walmart I'm gonna go ahead and take this exacto knife and I'm gonna try to cut off the tape exactly where I don't want it so that way it comes out perfect probably gonna take me a minute though guys check that out I got it taped off real nicely about as best as I can do I'm not real good at this kind of thing but it's looking good so far so now guys I'm gonna go ahead and lay it down and I'm gonna go ahead and apply our first coats of flex seal so let's do it all right I'm just gonna 
lay it real nicely on these blocks. Shake our can up good. All right, guys, I'm gonna let this sit in the sun for a couple hours, and then I'm gonna go ahead and flip it over and get the other side. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and let that dry up for a couple hours, and then I'll see if I need to put another coat of black on there or not. It's looking pretty good so far, though. It's looking real nice. But we'll come back to it in about two hours and see where we're at. All right, guys, it's been about two hours. I went ahead and put another coat of the Black Flex Seal on there just to kind of thicken it up a little bit. But now I'm going to go ahead and take some of this White Flex Seal, and I'm just going to kind of pepper it a little bit just for, uh, just for a cosmetic look, just to kind of make it look cool. So let's go ahead and do that and see how it comes out. So I just took this white flex seal here and I just used it to speckle it a little bit. And the main reason I did that was to hide any imperfections in the original coats of the black flex seal. Sometimes there's little bubbles and um, you know differences in thickness. Doing the white and speckle like that will kind of help hide all that. All right guys, it's been a few hours. This has had time to dry a little bit. It's still not completely dry, but uh, it's dry enough for me to work with. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take the, uh, the razor blade and go around the tape line and go ahead and cut that and that way I can peel the tape off nice and clean. guys check it out what look at that thing dude that came out sweet dude i love it sexy all right guys so now all i gotta do is i'm gonna do a little customization here on the bottom to help choke my hands up more towards the forks see how it just hangs off just a little too much there so let's get to that all right, I'm gonna take some of this paracord here and just wrap it around the bottom there. boys she's done check it out dude that came out so sweet dude love them flex seal wraps no more cheese grater hands oh man that paracord's gonna keep my hand choked up perfectly look see how my pinky just rest up against that paracord keeps me nice and pushed up to the forks 
Oh man, look at that lovely wrap. No more cheese grater hands, guys. Oh man, this is amazing. Guys, Flex Seal is awesome. This is the second slingshot I've used it on, um, but I wanted to do a video and kind of show you guys how I went about it. So um, I appreciate you guys coming along with me for the ride. If you want to see me shoot this, just stay tuned. I'll be shooting this in a live stream here pretty soon. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Please give me a like and share the video. It really helps out. But uh, yeah, guys, I'm really stoked at the way this turned out. But uh, again, I appreciate each and every one of you guys for watching. And uh, we will see you again in the next one. Peace. Excuse me. What are you doing? I'll be taking that. Thank you. Oh man, this is my four shooter TV frame.